Weather is the big story tonight as this cold settles in. We're going to check in with Matt Hankin in just a moment. But first, if you haven't been outside, the temperature has dropped tonight, dipping into the teens from some areas for the first time since late January. Yeah, while many people are turning up the heat right now, at least one local family can't do that. Yeah, lingering floodwaters covering up most of their heating unit outside the home, preventing them from turning it on. New here at 11, six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel visiting that family, finding out how they are managing with temperatures now dipping below freezing tonight. It's hard to see how much water is actually in this backyard since it is so dark outside, but this family is certainly feeling the effects of the floodwaters. That's my my comfort. Piling up the blankets, Mary Daly is getting ready for a bitter night ahead. Every time you come get out of bed, I'm froze just to get up to go to the bathroom and get a cup of water or something. It's really cold, really cold. Cold because she says she can't turn on her heating unit. It's partially covered in flood water that's sticking around since heavy rain poured down a little more than a week ago. And we still can't cut on our heat because the uh, uh, if we cut on our heat, uh, the, it'll mess up the heat pump. And that's leaving daily, turning to other sources to keep the house warm. I got this little heater and I keep it turned on high and sometimes I cut my oven back on to get the house a little warm, but I can't leave it on at nighttime, so I have to cut it off. It feel like you're walking outside in the snow and with no coat. Mary Daly now just waiting for the water to go back down so she can turn her heat back on. Reporting in North Knoxville, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE, six on your side. All right, thank you, Elizabeth. And as you just saw in Elizabeth's story, some people continuing now to feel the effects of the flood waters. Yeah, it's been almost a week now since flood waters were here in Knox County and really so many other places all around East Tennessee. Here in Knoxville, six roads, including North Shore at Town Center Boulevard, well, they remain closed tonight. And a trouble spot we saw last week was North Shore at Ebenezer. Water has gone down there, but not at this wastewater facility off Ebenezer. It is one of two run by First Utility District of Knox County that saw flooding. The utility estimating a minimum $1.5 million right now in repairs.